it's too bright from my thumbnail. Okay. Uh, come on, come on, oh, sun, go away just for a second. I block it. Let's eat. Ooh, the sun's getting bright. So this is kind of a reaction to the Shane Dawson Eugenia video. I think I understand what it's like to have an eating disorder because of how much I crave sugar. Yet, um, yeah, it's kind of embarrassing. I don't normally eat things that are bad for me, but I do crave sugar. Sometimes I don't do it forever and I just break down eventually. I'm kind of an all or nothing kind of guy. Like I understand because I do control my food and I know that I do have obsessive compulsive tendencies. And like I said, I am absolute or nothing. Like I'll be so good and then I'll just break. There is some good stuff that I'm going to talk about here. I never drink soft drinks and I've heard a lot of people say over the years by just cutting out soft drinks that you can do a lot of things. All I know is I didn't like the carbonation as a kid and I never drank it and I never drank it into adulthood and I never ended up drinking soft drinks. So maybe that is the one thing that I do differently that allows me not to gain weight or anything. But it's not necessarily true because I do bicycle everywhere and I would say 80% of the time I do eat really really well just sometimes I get into situations where I don't eat very well anymore I wish the lighting was better maybe I should put my hat on this way okay, yeah I'll do that okay so a few things okay let me get this ice cream out I got a lot of Canadian going on I am Canadian so we don't get a lot of the great things that I see on these mukbangs that I really do enjoy. Yeah, I better get this ice cream into my float. So, yes, the one thing that I enjoyed as a kid were root beer floats. So, today a and is giving away free root beer. It's like a and day. So I decided to go get these burgers that I usually get. And the burgers that I get from a and are on lettuce wraps. So, and then I asked for no ketchup and no mayo. So over the years, what I found is that I actually do tend to prefer healthy food. Like, I like the taste of brown rice over white rice. And mm, I do like apple pies, but the thing is about refined sugar, it is like a drug. And once I taste it, then I forget about how much I do love the natural things, the whole unprocessed foods. Okay, I don't think this ice cream was on sale. It seems like such a shame. A&W root beer doesn't have refined sugar in it. At least in Canada it doesn't. I think maybe the stuff that you buy at the store does have refined sugar in it. It's processed. But this is the one that you get at the restaurant is made with cane sugar. So it's a, a less unprocessed food which makes it it makes it so when you put it into your body, your body can recognize it better. Um, I'm going to put this ice cream in the fridge. Okay, now I'm going to spray myself off with the hose. Let's eat. Ooh, the sun's getting bright. Let's try this float. It has actually been probably 20 years since I've had a float.
that might not be true in between here and maybe 30 years actually I think one time I was visiting my brother and he took me somewhere and I had to or yeah and I had to make one root beer tastes so good I don't it's I guess again it's probably more healthy <laughs> It's like, you know, because it's, it tastes earthy, maybe, is why I like it. Anyway, these burgers, no ketchup, no mayo. The mustard is okay. Sometimes they don't put it on it. The cheese and everything is from... Ethical Sources at a and &W. And the fact that you can get lettuce wraps makes it like such a easy easy snack and plus you can always get coupons so i can get this delicious meal for only four dollars like eight dollars for both of these or you can get the mama burger which is the same size patty and it doesn't have cheese on it which is better and you can get that there are coupons sometimes that are for three dollars so for six bucks you can get a nice really healthy fast food meal mm. 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 So right now I'm still feeling pretty good. Mm. Oh no. They're really stingy with the napkins, which is actually <laughs> great. That's environmental. I think they're very environmentally too. I made the conscious decision not to make, take a straw today because I enjoy drinking out of the cup. That does taste really good. Okay, Shane Dawson talks about drinking his diet root beer. It is A&W. Again, I don't know if they make that. I don't know how healthy, and especially a diet, a diet soda is going to have all these extra chemicals and stuff in it. It's kind of worse. I think there's a quote from Elizabeth Taylor who says she's never drunk a diet drink because she's never seen a thin person drinking one. That's kind of funny. Anyway, I think I think I do agree with that theory that if you're going to cut out just soft drinks, it's going to make a huge difference to your health. And you definitely should cut out white sugar, but it's really hard to do. Especially if you live in a remote location, it is hard to get healthier foods. At least that's what people say and kind of use this as an excuse, but there is a lot of healthy foods available at the grocery store, like apples and carrots and all of the produce section, the whole the meat counter if you want to have that, eggs, easy, fast foods that you can eat. Like what's easier than eating an apple? And that is the trick that I do have, is that first of all you don't bring the stuff and you don't put anything bad in your cupboards. Like now I have ice cream in my refrigerator. But if you don't have it there, then you're going to get those apples. So I find foods that I love that are really, you know what? I better, I'm going to, I'm going to take out this. I'm going to take, I'm going to stop for a second. And I have to say that over the years, people have come to me and asked me 
to help them with their diets and and help them eat healthy and give them ideas. But what has happened in the end is they do become resentful. And it is something that you have to do on your own. And I've also learned people don't want to hear this. People don't want to hear you going on and on and preaching about healthy eating. But I would never judge anyone like Eugenia because I do know what it's like to not feel good about your body and all of this stuff. I think we all have that in us. And like I said, I've also learned that it's something that you have to do on your own and people do not want to be preached to. That being said, I do live my life by some great tips that work for me, which is don't have the stuff in your house. Find the healthy foods that you love that you can replace your cravings with. So think about, like if you're having a craving for something sweet, think about what else it could possibly be that you could... <clears throat> What am I doing eating this burger? I haven't even had one of these donuts. Right as I was going out the door to get the A&W root beer, there was this Facebook notification. Should I turn this a bit? Oh yeah, to fix up the... There was a Facebook notification that said, try these new Canadian Olympic donuts at Tim Hortons. So I went, if I'm going to be doing bad today, I guess I'm gonna go be doing bad all the way. So it looks like it's two coolers, I don't know what they're called. That's how much don't, oh no, or they, maybe they cut it in two, they put cream in the middle, and they put red sprinkles on top. looks like a honey cooler honey is that what it's called okay I'm not gonna lie it's really good I don't usually get a honey one of these things these twisty donuts. I shouldn't have pulled it apart because it's not substantial enough and I don't think I'm getting enough for my money. So I try to get the heaviest one. I try to get the heaviest ones. I usually get a Canadian maple, I think they call it, which is like a Boston cream, but they put maple frosting on top but they didn't have it and then my favorite donut to get is an apple fritter i don't know if that means that it's one of those healthier choices again because i do like to have the apples inside even though sometimes there's not and then i was having so much bad stuff But I wanted to get something of a different texture, so I got this dense chocolate, chocolate, chocolate dip. I do like to mix up the different textures. If you have all cream-filled donuts, it gets kind of gross. And something else <laughs> that I've learned is that it's good to have something after I eat all the sugar, I do start craving something that's healthy, and I will want to wash it down with like some vegetables and something savory and something that's not sweet. Let me just try all the donuts.
I really, I'm on a pudding. I've been craving pudding lately. A little tip for having pudding. Who's that? Oh. You can mix banana. You can mash bananas up. Just pulverize a banana in a bowl. And yeah, and it does taste like pudding. And then you can put like chocolate powder, cacao powder in it. And then you have chocolate pudding. That has gotten that has gotten me through some hard times. Oh, I went to town on this one. I finished it off. There's so much cream. Something I also like to avoid. Is red food coloring. Because in the 80s, it was all the rage that it was really carcinogenic and it was probably the w most carcinogenic food that you could eat. So it's pretty instilled in me. Well, this gets messy, but it makes for a good mukbang. This is going to be hard. I'm going to finish my float while I'm enjoying it. I do have a problem with also having to finish everything that I start. I hate wasting food. But it is just going to make me feel uncomfortable. Let me finish off this float. Still, there's still so much left in there. Oh yeah, and you can eat your float with a spoon. It doesn't even taste like anything now because those were so sweet. Here. Excuse me. Oh, the carbonation. I'm so not used to that happening. Mm. Oh, it tastes so good after the sweet stuff. Mm. Let me cleanse my palate with that. Let me hose down one more time. float. Yeah. I also don't want to save any of this for later because then it's going to continue on. So Again, I want to get it out of my house. So I'm going to eat, I'm going to finish this off. So then I don't have to worry about having bad stuff laying around. And then it'll continue on into the next days and stuff. So right now I only have carrots and apples in my home. So if I get really hungry tonight, I'll just have one one meal.
something that I realized is that so many people have been through so many hard things and what is hard for some people might not be difficult for another person. So judging someone on what has happened to them or why they're there, it's not a cool thing. And I used to be the first to criticize people. I do still do it. Like, like when I see people drinking soft drinks, when I see people smoking, and I should be more empathetic because I do know what it's like to crave. But I guess it's because I've got those things down that I can like make those judgments. But that's not a cool thing to do either. So whenever I do catch myself making a judgment, I just say, Jason, stop. No, no, no. And that's all we can do. Just being aware that you're doing something wrong. Catch yourself. Notice it. Stop doing it. Move on. We're human. We're going to have thoughts that come from wrong places. You can just acknowledge it and move on. These are things that I've learned, like in yoga and stuff like that, over the years. I never want to have another donut again, by the way. a piece of cardboard. Okay, I'm going to finish the last piece of donut. Getting it up, getting up and hosing off kind of helped out with this. I'm really happy that in this last video that Shane toned down the, the mysterious propaganda I've got Andrew, who's a funny guy and everything, but put the two of them together and they make all this like, oh, oh. I don't like the too much drama. My favorite YouTube right now is to watch ones that are so real, which is really why I like people like people like Eugenia. I like when it, I don't like the overproduced stuff. I like it real. I mean, David Dobrik's videos are pretty good. They're masterpieces in their own right. But when it comes down to it, I really enjoy truth and realness. And that's what I think is great about YouTube. And I really love to watch a long video of someone talking. Trisha Paytas is the best. No judgments on her either. In fact, I kind of commend her for everything she's been through and then the places she's been, the things that she's seen, what she's done, and who she is now, unapologetically. Unapologetically. Mm. Yeah, the burger tastes so good now. So yeah. Hopefully over the next few days I'm just going to eat like carrots and apples and eggs.
Okay, root beer floats are really good. I did the perfect amount of ice cream. I don't think when you get an A&W root beer float at A&W, I don't think they put enough ice cream in it. I'm glad I saved these last few bites for the end. I hope that I didn't come off too judgmental because I don't want to be. I just wanted to share my experiences. I wanted to have a breakdown with you guys here. This was a sugar breakdown. And I have to try to be better. I have to be try, try to do that thing where everybody says it's all about balance. I'm not good at balancing. I'm really clumsy. I fall to one side or the other. Well, I do love you guys very, very much. You really are my best friends. All right, I hope that you will um, like, comment, share, and subscribe. See you next time. Check out one of these other videos.